install Echolink and how to get it up and running. So the very first thing we're going to do is listen to the repeater, hi, hi. Um, we're going to bring up Echolink. And the first thing you're going to do is go to use a web browser and go to echolink.org. Now you can set this up on other things. You can run it on your phone, but it's easiest to set it up on a PC. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do is you see this validation link. We're going to go there. Now, the thing is you're going to put in a call sign. I'm going to use AA1UU. And you'll see here, it says, choose a call sign. And it says there are no validation requests, which means it's, it can be used. If you'd like to validate this call, download, install, and run the Echolink software first, and then come back to the validation page to proceed. Okay. So the very first thing that um, we can do is download. But remember, you're going to have to come back to this page here first, validation. Let me highlight that you're going to have to come back to validation in order to validate your call sign. Okay, so the next thing we do is we're going to download the software. You just click the link. Typically, you'll pick the installer for Windows, and uh, you'll be all set to go with that. So we'll just download it. Boom. We can, we can save it, and we'll be all set. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to run the installer. This is the Echolink setup page. We're going to say install. It's going to ask us if we want to make changes to our devices. It should be Synergenic LLC. And we're going to just run the setup. There it goes. And we're going to get this dialog box here which is the standard Windows installer. We say next, we accept the terms of the license agreement. Uh, there's the location it would normally install in, so we're going to install it. And now it's completed the installation. We're going to launch it. And we're going to, it's going to tell us that it installed successfully. Once we do that, the next thing we're going to see is this dialog, the setup wizard. The setup wizard is going to help us configure Echolink. We do next. Now, we're going to do a computer user because we're not setting up so that you have a repeater or an Echolink node in your house. But you can do that later on if you get if you decide you want to. You click next again. You're on you don't want to be on a dial-up connection, I don't think anymore. So you're going to pick DSL, cable or ISDN. And then we're going to enter in our stuff. N1DID my password, my first name is Emily, my location is Trumbull, Connecticut, and my email address is and I'll turn off the radio for now. I'm going to click next. It's going to ask me for my location. North America East is the default. Uh, I don't need to test my firewall, but you might want to. And now the setup is complete. When we do that, we're going to get a tip that's going to fly up, tip of the day. And then we can close that. We're also going to get a window. Now, it's at this point in time you're going to have to go back to the validation page uh, and make sure that you validate your call sign. You're going to get a, a, a code that you have to enter in, and um, they will send you an email and let you know that you were validated. But in the meantime, let's take a test. So you'll see down here at the bottom, well, first of all, let's go to setup. We're going to have to go to setup and make sure your audio devices are configured. Okay, so my audio devices are typically my microphone for input device and my speakers, if I can find them, here we go, speakers, for the output device. Okay, I'm using a 
a general purpose microphone. And also I, well, I can calibrate it. It's not usually necessary, but you can. And recording mode, well, you, if you're gonna record stuff, you need a folder to record it. Um, you might have to go back in and um, adjust your microphone. Um, and so uh, if you need to, you're gonna to need to do that. You're gonna click OK. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look here and you're gonna find um, preferences. One of the important things about preferences is this connections. You're gonna see list, this is all just preferences. But connections is important. Um, you can allow conferences if you want, but that's gonna chew up your, your network installation, uh, your bandwidth a little bit. But this is important, see PTT control here on the connections tab in the preferences dialog. PTT, you need to tell it what key you're gonna use for push to talk, okay? My case, I'm using the space bar and I want it momentary. Um, I don't want to, well, I'm sorry, I don't want it momentary because I want to have it click on, click off, okay? So we're done with that. Now, now we're ready to rock and roll. You'll see here there's two views. We're currently in an index view, and this is a big list of everybody who's around, okay? And all the repeaters are there. You can see there's one in, I have no idea where that is. Uh, probably Russia. Um, down here, we'll get, uh, you can see here's Monroe, Utah. You can click on any of these and connect to them. We're going to go over to Explorer view, and you'll see that Explorer view is more like the Windows file browser. And if you want to look at node types, you'll see conferences, links, repeaters, and users. And you can connect up to another user who's just hanging out. It's, there's nothing uh, against that. But in our case, we want to look for repeaters. We see that list of repeaters we saw on the front, on, on the index view as well. And we can use this too. So if we go down here and we're going to look for the N1 uh, KGN repeater. So let's look for N1 and 0 N1. KGN-R, and you'll see here 441700. That's our Echolink node. It's there 24-7. N1 KG, uh, uh, KGN-R. We double-click on it, and we're now connected up. And it would have been announced over the repeater that we connected up. Now all we have to do to, to talk and transmit, you'll see somebody else is transmitting. I can't... Uh, record their audio right now, but um, if I press my space bar, any station, N1DID, radio check. Let's see, I'm answering you. Are you hearing me? I am. Oops. I am N1DID. Uh, I think you're on, uh, this is N1PLH, right? Okay, Michael, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just uh, testing an Echolink thing and making a YouTube video, so there we go. All right, 73, talk to you later. Uh, N1PLH, N1DID. Take care. Bye bye. And then once we have this uh, all set up like that. Okay, so there you go. And it's that simple. The only other thing you need to know is how to disconnect. You can go to Station Disconnect or Alt-D. So you just press the Alt key and the D key. In this case, we'll just do it this way so you can see. And now we're disconnected. It's that simple.
Okay, N1DID, 7-3 everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the video.